the HSPT exam has two mathematics sections. One is the quantitative skills section. And I have an example of the type of question you'll see on the quantitative skills section of the HSPT test right here. So let's look at it. Evaluate 9 plus 4 times the quantity of 2 plus 3. So on something like this, you just need to follow the order of operations. Or I like to use GEMDAS. The G stands for grouping symbols, like parentheses or brackets. The E stands for exponents. M, multiplication. D, division. A, addition. S, subtraction. With the multiplication and division, you'll want to work those just from left to right, depending on which one comes first. Same with addition subtraction. But you'll always do your grouping symbols first, followed by your exponents, then any multiplication division left to right, and finally, addition subtraction from left to right. So on this problem, we'd start right here with our grouping symbols. You have two options. You could distribute the 4, or you can just add the 2 plus 3. And I'm going to do it that way. So then we have 9 plus 4 times 5, since that's what 2 plus 3 is, 5. Now we have addition and multiplication. Here's our addition, and then the 4 with the parentheses around the 5 is multiplication. So according to our order of operations, we would need to multiply before we add. So we're going to multiply the 4 times 5. Now we have 9 plus 20. And the only thing left to do is add, which gives us 29. So there you have an example of the type of question you'll see when you take the HSPT exam. Good luck! The HSPT has two math sections, and you won't be able to use a calculator on either one. Here's a question from the quantitative skills section of the HSPT practice exam. Which of the following is a not equivalent to the others? This is read as 24 hundredths, which means it can be written as 24 hundredths. You can also write per 100 as per cent, because that's literally what per cent means. Cent is for 100, so that is 24 per cent, which means this one can't be our answer since it is like B. It's just another way to represent 24%. 24% then, likewise, can be written as 24 per 100 and 24 hundredths. 24 tenths is not the same as 24 hundredths. 24 tenths can also be written as 2 and 4 tenths, which is not like 24 hundredths. 12 fiftieths, though, we can take and multiply numerator and denominator both by 2 and get 24 hundredths, which is also 24 hundredths and 24 per cent. So C is the answer. It's the, the one that's not equivalent to all the others. So there you have an example of the type of question you'll encounter when you take the HSPT. Good luck! The HSPT has two different math sections. One of them is the quantitative skills section. This is a question from an HSPT practice test. Which numeral should fill in the blank in the series 248 blank 3264? So this is a pattern. We need to figure out the pattern to figure out the missing number. You might start with addition. You see the numbers are increasing, so that means you're either going to be adding, multiplying, or possibly squaring, cubing, etc. So you may start with addition. 2 plus 2 would be 4, but then 4 plus 2 wouldn't be 8. So maybe you try multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so that's looking more promising. 
2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. If we continue that pattern, then 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 times 2 is 32. And 32 times 2 is 64. So the pattern of multiplying the previous term by 2 works throughout the pattern to fill in that missing blank with the number 16. So again, this is a, a type of question you'll see on the quantitative skills section of the HSPT exam. Good luck! This is a question from the quantitative skills section of an HSPT practice test. Which of the following is not a prime number? So we need to know what a prime number is. A prime number has exactly two unique or distinct factors. One and itself. There's a little bit of a debate about what the very first prime number is. Some people say it's one, but to me, one doesn't have two factors because the factors of one are just one and one, or just one. So I would say the first prime number is the number two, since the only factors of two are one and two. One times two is two. Then three. Four would not be prime, since besides one times four, there's also two times two. Or the three factors for the number four would be one, two, and four. So we skip four. There's five, one times five is five, those are the only factors. Six, again, has more than two factors. One times six is six, but also two times three, so we skip six. Seven, one times seven is seven. Eight, again, has more than two factors. Besides one times eight, there's also two times four, so we skip eight. Nine also has more than two factors. Ten does as well. Eleven would be next, so on and so forth. So you may have noticed that after the number two, we skipped every other even number. And that's because every even number past two has more than two factors, since two is a factor of every even number. So really that makes this problem pretty simple. Since 76 is an even number and it's not two, that means it's not prime because besides 1 times 76, there's also 2 times 38, which would give you 76. So it's important to know that with prime numbers, the only even prime number is 2, because that may help you answer your question really quickly. Good luck on the HSPT test. The HSPT has two math sections. This question is an example of the type of question you'll see on the HSPT quantitative skills math section. It says, which of the following is the greatest? So what we need to do is simplify each one of these answers. You are not allowed to use a calculator on the HSPT exam, so you'll need to know how to simplify these types of problems on your own. First, 6 minus 2 is just 4. Then we have negative 4 minus 2. You can think about this on the number line. You're starting at negative 4 on the number line, and then when we subtract, uh, our number's getting smaller, so we're moving to the left two places. That'd be negative 6. Or the way I like to think about it is you have four negatives and two more negatives, which is a total of six negatives. C is negative 4 minus negative 10. Now here's the cool thing about subtracting a negative. It's actually the same as adding a positive. So these two negatives make a plus sign. So it's really just negative 4 plus 10. Or it's a positive 10 minus 4. Positive 10 minus 4 is positive 6. Finally, 11 minus 6 is 5. So we can immediate, 
immediately eliminate this negative number as being our greatest because all negative numbers are smaller than positive numbers. So then it's just between 4, 5, and 6, and 6 is the greatest. So there you have a problem from an HSPT practice test so that you can get an idea of what you're facing. Good luck!